Let's hope so. Allie Parks. Oh! oh! And they're going to keep on going. Oh, some hair extensions came out there. And just pulled her hair. She knew what to go for. <laughs> now making her way to the cage from the pink tee. L.A. Parks. The baby doll from Dallas, Texas, making her way in. And right away, John told you, he favors her because she's from the Big D. <laughs> hey, it's hard not to. Us Dallas folks got to stick together. Uh, Allie Parks comes in with a record of 15-5, and five, uh, which she built up in LFC's minor league system, the booty camp, which we saw those Kansas fighters earlier. That's the way she made her way to the big stage. And she was known as having kind of this all or nothing style that usually results in a knockout one way or the other. It's either her winning or her losing, but going for it from the beginning. But uh, it's going to be great to see the, the experience that she brings. Let's go to Mike Adams. Mike, take it away. And now, representing the black team, Jesse Santos. El Toro. She is from El Paso, Texas. She was a basketball player and a great power forward center. She wanted to play professional basketball. Five foot ten was going to be kind of limited, but she says she is tailor made and she says she is not a dirty fighter. Well, you know, she's been suspended twice for pulling hair, so uh, that remains to be seen. The, the jury is still out on that. Uh, she is known for a, a couple of uh, epic fights. We mentioned earlier four fight series she had with Shelly De Silva, who we saw earlier in the night. They went two and two during those, but she has been known to have a little bit of a reputation for fighting dirty. Maybe the, uh, the Husamar Paul Harris of the uh, LFC. But you mentioned that five foot 10 inch frame, not necessarily tall enough to get things done in the women's basketball game, but in the LSC, that's gonna give her a height advantage over a lot of her competition, including Allie Baby Doll Parks. Well, she may win the award for the best outfit so far. Definitely an exotic looking outfit. And this woman is very competitive. She was, she was walking around here before the fight, walking around all over the place, looking at all the angles, getting ready. Now let's go to Mike Adams. Our next bout of the evening is three rounds, three minutes per round, and your referee in charge of all the action, Aruba. And now introducing first, representing the pink team. She's five foot four, weighed in 135 pounds. She has a background in wrestling and calls. Dallas, Texas, her home. Ladies and gentlemen, Allie, the baby doll parks. And now, representing the black team, at five foot 10, 150 pounds, she has a background in wrestling. She calls El Paso, Texas, her home. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse El Torro Santos. <laughs> Referee Aruba with instruction. All right, I want a clean and fair fight. Touch gloves and go back to your corner. All right, so get ready for El Toro. The bull, Jesse Santos, she is in the white lingerie. And you see the leopard colored lingerie worn by Allie Baby Doll Parks from Dallas, Texas. And I'm telling you, Jesse Santos is a beast. It's the, the interesting clash of demeanors right here. I mean, Baby Doll looks uh, happy to be in there. Meanwhile, El Toro looks like she's going in there to do some damage. Oh! She is wow. showing you some athletic skills right there. Yeah, so much for the wrestler background that she came from. No, she wants to come <laughs> down and do some damn. But you see the experience of the part of Parks, knows how to go ahead and get out of harm's way. Yeah, keeping her distance, staying away. Parks staying as far back as she can, realizing she is at a reach disadvantage. That is a great outfit, though, that Santos has on. It gets more interesting by the minute, too. <laughs> And throw him down to the ground. Parks goes. Wow. And then you see the size difference. You really do. Got to think there's some strength advantage in there. Total strength. And again. <laughs> Parks does a good job of circling off the cage. You know, sometimes when it's a smaller fighter, fighting in close like this might be the right play. And there's a beautiful lateral.
lateral drop. That was fantastic. And Parks is going for the arm. She's got a pretty good grasp of that arm, John. Straight arm bar there. This would be an interesting position to finish from. She's trying to step over the mouth to give herself a different angle. Santos are going to test her experience or defensive skills. Can she get out of this right now? And great leg. Oh, look oh. at that. Look at that. Look at the athleticism. Five foot 10, 150 pounds. Wearing the most interesting outfit of the night and showing tremendous athletic ability. That's incredible. Oh, Ali Parks ducks in and slips around to the back. And you can just see right there, Parks can barely budge her. Can barely budge her, and you see Santos there just planting those feet and really making herself heavy here. And trying to get some leverage to go ahead and throw Parks down. Yeah. And, and down goes Parks. Uh, just an absolutely muscle move there from Jesse Santos. Just overpowered. Now inside control, looking for options. And again, to remind you the rules, they can't strike to the face now when they get them on the ground, not when they're upright. And Santos, interestingly, turned for a leg, and that allowed Parks to turn for a leg as well. Parks has got it. It's the leg lock battle. Uh, Parks Good. did a great job rolling through there. Exactly, and it, it, now she's trying to use that elbow. Smart. And yeah. that area right there, that's in football, we call that a hip pointer. If you can hit that hip area, that totally paralyzes you. Excellent work there to spin out of it. Park showing, again, that experience that she learned in the minor league circuit really shining through here. She's been in some difficult positions, but she doesn't panic. And now she's in mount and she's pounding away from the top. But Santos don't do a good job of putting that arm up to fend off yeah. those strikes. That was a great job. Santos just powered out as soon as the choke was coming in. She just powered her way to the top position. And now let's see if she brings some Raymaker right there. Pounding away now is Santos on top. Choke attempt here in the final seconds. Can she finish it in time? She got, the tap. she got the tap. Did she? Or did? I think it came right at the end. Yes. Yes, that's a referee, Aaron Aruba, right there saying right at the bell. And Santos is still down. Now yep. she's. Wow. Right I, at the bell, how about that? Don't know if Santos wasn't aware of how much time was left. The hole definitely looked tight, but you gotta think, could she have lasted just one more second? Well, is this a sign for the Cowboys? Big D wins here, <laughs> huh? Is this a sign? Let's hope so. Alley Parks. Oh! oh! And they're gonna keep on going. Oh, some hair extensions came out there. And just... Pull their hair, she knew what to go for. <laughs> and you know, John, I'm gonna ask you this, and I know people have always wondered about this. You know why fighters don't have sex before a fight? Testosterone. No, because they don't like each other. <laughs> and you're seeing it right here and there. Uh, These ladies do not like each other. Mike Adams gonna give us the official time. Aaron Aruba, the referee, stopping it. So let's get the official time. At 2.59 of round number one, your winner, by way of tap out, Ellie. The baby doll Parks. Allie Parks, two minutes, 59 seconds. Allie Parks, two minutes, 59 seconds. And she gets the tap, and what a move. It really was, just an incredible finish. Again, that was a fun fight all the way around. Certainly Santos, uh, as we watched the replay here, had some fantastic moments. But uh, Allie Baby Doll Parks showing that experience, again, never quit and was able to get to this guillotine choke. And even though time was winding down, she squeezed as hard as she could and was able to get the tap with one second left.